to lose my job so suddenly when I was going through a new diagnosis and everything like that, it was just, it was horrible. My name is Wendy Ashyonyishka and I live with bipolar disorder. It was kind of a blur as what happens with bipolar disorder when you're in a manic state. You don't really have that sense of what's going on, or at least I didn't. My family felt like something was wrong and they were able to get me to accept help and get me into a psychiatric unit. And I think I was there for a week or two, something like that. I don't remember, it was kind of a blur. I got out, immediately went back to where I lived as soon as I was cleared to fly and um, almost immediately put on probation at work was told not to bring my life into work. That, sorry you're going through some hard things, but don't bring your life into work. And I was dealing with a difficult supervisor who really didn't understand what I was going through, that I'd just been diagnosed, and didn't really understand living with mental health condition. And eventually, um, I was put on probation and eventually fired. And it was really hard for me because I had really prided myself on doing a good job at every place that I worked. I could get stellar recommendations. And to lose my job so suddenly when I was going through a new diagnosis and everything like that, it was just, it was horrible. And it basically, led to me having to move back home, which was pretty traumatic in and of itself. My world had fallen apart and I was devastated. I started working for the university in the beginning of that year. About six to nine months later, I had another manic episode. Uh, and this time, my supervisor had focused on me being well. She said, that's all I want, is for her to be well. And it, it was such a stark contrast to what I experienced the year before. I was coming to terms with the fact that I had bipolar, that I did have this condition that meant that I was gonna need medication, I was gonna need to take extra care of myself in a way that I was not prepared to before. And knowing that they just wanted me well and that that was okay meant the world. I wanted to really share my story in a more regular way and I wasn't finding that specifically with bipolar disorder and I found NAMI and I spoke to the volunteer coordinator and they suggested that I do the Ending the Silence, which is all about sharing your story. And it's just been so welcoming and it's been a great community to be a part of. What it means to integrate wellness and mental health into the workplace environment is to acknowledge that we're all coming from different points. That some people are dealing with a mental health condition themselves or dealing with a family member that has one could be a caregiver, could be personally experiencing something. And that in contrast to that first experience where I was told you can't bring your life into work, it's the opposite of that, to have a good healthy work environment where you can acknowledge that your life is part of your work. And you can't separate your mental health condition from your day-to-day -day existence and that it's okay that accommodations can and should be made to allow people to feel comfortable to take care of themselves and still be able to work because you can still function well if you're living well. It is a personal accomplishment based on my previous experience of having been let go at a job that I loved. To be able to 
go into work and not only survive it, but thrive and work hard and do a good job is extremely important to my well-being. Being part of the NAMI community means having a good support system to be behind me. With NAMI, you're not alone.